Hello, I'm Greg Meyer. I'm the coordinator of the Blue Ribbon Mentor Advocate Program in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Blue Ribbon Mentor Advocate is a mentoring, tutoring, and comprehensive student support program for students in the Chapel Hill, Carborough City Schools. Blue Ribbon Mentor Advocate has been using the America Learns Network since 2005. We have over 100 volunteer mentors in the program, and each of them completes a reflection log on America Learns each week. The first thing that they do is tell us about the activities that they've done with their mentee that week, the date and time they were together, what they did, uh, and how it went. That's valuable in two ways. One is it helps us keep track of what they're doing and knowing how our mentors are handling their mentoring relationships and what types of experiences our students are having. Secondly, it's great for liability. All volunteer mentors who are working in a community-based setting need to record the dates and times and activities that they're together with their student and what happened during those times in case any allegations should come up later questioning the activities that they did with their mentee. Our mentors uh, also expect that we will read their logs and so we have staff members who read them and respond to any requests that our mentors make for support. We'll also be looking out for red flags or other things that a mentor might talk about that we know uh, might be headed in the wrong direction and we can give them a tip ahead of time and say hey we heard that this type of thing is going on here's some strategies that might help you for trying to avoid trouble or to uh, handle anything difficult that's going on in your relationship right now. Then America Learns recommends strategies to our mentors from the uh, strategy database. Um, there are over 700 strategies in the national database and Blue Ribbon has probably about 50 strategies in our local database right now. And so mentors can get ideas from other volunteers in our community and around the country about activities that they can do with their mentees and things that they can do to help mentees with uh, academic issues or other issues that they're struggling with. We also use America Learns for public relations purposes. It's a great way to collect stories from mentors and volunteers. And so if we find something that a mentor has done one week that we think is an outstanding example of mentoring or something that's a great positive story, we'll take it from America Learns and post it onto our blog. And that way we have a first person story from a volunteer about something positive in the community. It helps us recruit other mentors and we feel like it's just important to put out positive stories about our kids so that the community has a positive image of the students that we serve. When we ask our mentors what they like about America Learns, they certainly like the strategies that are available to them. They love having resources that other mentors have created. But one thing that they also talk about is they like reflection questions. Our mentors seem to really appreciate having the opportunity once a week just to think about how their relationship is going and to answer some specific reflection questions that are on America Learns that we rotate to them maybe one question a week about what are you doing to support your mentees' strengths and interests? What have you gotten out of the mentoring relationship? How do you think your mentee has grown since you started working with him or her? They just seem to really appreciate the opportunity to reflect on their relationship for just a couple of moments, and they probably wouldn't do that, they tell us, if they weren't using America Learns. When I've talked with other programs about why they should use America Learns, I tell them that it's a very easy way to monitor your mentors. It's very efficient for us because we have over 100 mentors and only a couple of full-time staff people, and this is a great way to stay on top of what they're doing. It's important to be a part of the larger America Learns network because there are other programs that do similar things to us and America Learns helps us connect with them and learn from them and uh, talk with them when there's issues that we're struggling with. And then America Learns has amazing customer support. I've looked at some of the other similar programs that are out there and I know that they don't come close to America Learns in terms of providing support. Uh, anytime we have a challenge that comes up where we need technical assistance or anything else from the America Learns staff, we get a response usually within an hour or two, uh, within a 24 hours at the latest. And that's phenomenal, and we've always been able to depend on America Learns to solve any problem that we've uh, had. And when we have ideas of things that could make America Learns network better for us, they also respond to those, and we've seen many of those ideas come to fruition, and the network's gotten better and better to use. So we've been really happy with America Learns for the last five years. We plan to continue using America Learns, and I would encourage you to do the same. This is Greg Meyer in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, signing off.